What's going on YouTube? GeoSnowRage right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to backup and restore your WhatsApp data for your iOS device. And for that, we're going to use a software called Dr. Phone. This Dr. Phone software contains a module that is actually useful for restoring social applications for example, WhatsApp, Line, Kick, Viber, and WeChat. So all you have to do is to download the Dr. Phone from the official website, which is drphone.wondershare.com. And here you have the Dr. Phone Restore Social App part, which you can download by pressing in here. It's also available for Windows if you have a Windows computer. And of course, you have all the information on how to do the transfer and so on right here on the website. Please do keep in mind that even though we're going to use a transfer from iPhone to iPhone, you can also do a transfer from Android to iPhone if you want to. So all the information that you may need is available in here as well on their website. And here are the specifications for your computer in order to be able to run this. However, if your Mac has more than 256 megs of RAM, it should work pretty fine. Though I do believe that there aren't any Macs with less than that nowadays. So all I have to do in order to back up first your conversations, your messages and so on, is to open the Restore Social App in here. It will take a few moments for it to start and once that starts, all I have to do is to connect your iPhone through the Lightning connector or your Android device if you want to back up an Android device. So once the Restore Social App has started, you have a few tabs in here for each individual supported social application. The first one being WhatsApp, which we're going to use in this video in here. Then you have Line, Kick, Viber, and WeChat if you have them, and they all have different settings in here. But the WhatsApp one has four different categories in here, and the first one being Transfer WhatsApp Messages, the second one being Backup WhatsApp Messages, then you have the Restore WhatsApp Messages to iOS device, or Restore WhatsApp Messages to Android device. Yes, you can handle Android devices even on your Mac. So for example, if you want to backup your messages from your iPhone and transfer them to your Android device or vice versa, it's possible. But for now, I'm going to demonstrate the backup function. So I'm going to backup my messages for WhatsApp by pressing in here. And it says in here that it will connect to the device. Now, as you can see in here, we got a notice. It says your backup file has been password encrypted. Please remove your encryption from iTunes to ensure a successful backup. If you get any of these, you have to turn off password encryption on your iTunes before you can proceed. All right, so I've done this. I unchecked the encrypt backup with a password in iTunes. And now if I press try again, it should work. So basically the problem is that if you encrypt your backups, the program will not be able to read them. So yeah, that's basically a problem. And now I'm going to basically create a backup in here. So it will extract the WhatsApp data and I will be able to restore it to either Android or iPhone at any moment, which is actually quite good. As you can see, it already started to pick up some data, so that is actually quite good. The backup may take some time, uh, especially if you have a lot of data. For example, you have a lot of photos and so on, like I do in here. It does take a few moments for it to create a proper backup. All right, so as you can see here, it says backup successfully. I'm gonna press view it. And as you can see, I do have all the details in here, including the version and so on. And I can even restore the data on the device if I want to. I can press restore in here and whatever device I connect, it will restore the data that I backed up from my device. So I press restore and that's basically it. But keep in mind that if you restore the data from the backup, it will override the existing WhatsApp data. So if you've had new conversations or if you already have conversations on that particular device that are not backed up, this process will override those. So please keep that in mind. I'm gonna press yes in here. And it says in here that I have to log in with any WhatsApp account on the target device first. Otherwise the restored data will be empty. But yes, I am already logged in on my account, so there should be no problem. And it says in here to restore it. Okay, so at first it tells me I have to turn off Find My iPhone. That is normal and that is a requirement because it will restore a backup. And since it's going to restore a backup, backups cannot be restored, not even with iTunes, if you do not turn off Find My iPhone. Do not worry, you do not have to keep it off after the procedure. You can enable it back again once this completes. All right, so I turned off Find My iPhone. If you don't know how to do that, they have a guide in here. I'm gonna press OK, and as you can see, it started to do it again to continue the restore procedure, and there we go. That was actually it. It says in here, your cat restore completed. So um, it says check app state, it was 100%, analyze backup files, 100%, and restore, 100%. 
Now my phone rebooted and once the reboot completes, I will basically have the data that I backed up from my WhatsApp a few minutes ago. So as you can see, that's basically how you do it and you can do it on an Android or an iOS device. Same thing goes for the Line, for Kick, for Viber and for WeChat. You can get the Dr. Phone Restore social application from drphone.wondershare.com as well as the guides on how to do this and it's also available for Windows. That's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am Geosnow, until the next time, peace out.